Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. I went to some stores to check out and see what else they had left in their inventory. And one of my favorite places to go is a local nursery called Horrocks. And it is on the west side of the town that I live in. And uh, they have still a pretty good selection of perennials. Uh, they were not on sale that much, but they were 25% off. So I thought that I would snag some of those. I also got a couple of new concrete planters here. These are uh, both from Lowe's and they were a really good deal. So I'm planning to uh, get these planted up with these. And I also got some other plants here. So let's talk about the plants that I got. This is a raspberry fall gold. And I think I'm going to plant this in a pot so that I don't have to worry about it spreading. I'm not sure how bad these are um, at that. I have heard different stories about it. So um, I think that I will limit the opportunity for that at least the first few years uh, by planting it in a pot. I've got a small cat's pajamas here. One of the nice things about the Horrocks is that um, they actually sell in these very small containers perennials so you can try something out without having to spend a ton of money and see whether you like it so i have the walkers nepeta excuse me the nepeta walkers low i have the cat's meow and this is cat's pajamas so we'll see the difference between the three different type of nepeta and be able to compare um, how they do in the garden next year this one here is, I have other Amsonia in my garden, but this one in particular is called Proven Winner's Storm Cloud. And the great thing about this one is that it has, I think, even more blooms than the one that I have in my yard right now. They do have a tendency to spread very wide. They say uh, minimum spacing 38 inches and uh, they do get about 24 to 30 inches tall. They're quite hardy, hardy down to zone four. And so this is a really nice one. It's just different than many of the other uh, perennials you see. It's kind of flax-like, but the color is this light grayish blue. It's very hard to describe, but it's beautiful. So I recommend that. So I'm gonna try out that different variety and see how that goes. Now in this um, plant pot, I got two of this type of grass. Let's see, what is it called? I can't remember. Ruby ribbons grass. So I like the color on that. I'm not a super big fan of ornamental grass in the landscape, unless it's in huge drifts and I just don't have the space for that in my yard so I only have a couple of ornamental grasses in the landscape but they have also these really pretty seed heads at the top that are very delicate looking I love that and then this gorgeous hopscotch fun and games hopscotch I have the fun and games red rover in the backyard and this one is a little bit lighter colored so I think that's a really nice color. And the blooms also are this very pretty white. And it's a very clean color, so I like that a lot. Sometimes the blooms aren't really much of anything on hookahs, but these not only have pretty blooms, but they also have a little bit of foliage on the bloom stock. So that's interesting. Over here, I got a shrub. This one I think is called groundhog. It is. It's called groundhog. It's a native and it is an aronia. So I was just attracted to the color of it. I mean, it looks like quintessential fall to me. I like the growth habit of it. It kind of is a weeping growth habit, but also very low growing. So I think that will look nice there. And then I did get a small pachysandra. I don't have any of this in my yard. I'm going to put this one after it's been in the pot 
in my way back in the shade and it will be okay if it takes over down there. I'm not sure how aggressive it will be because I have never had it in my yard in particular. I've seen it in other people's yards and I think that it looks really pretty. So we'll see how that goes. I also really enjoy hostas and this one I have seen on uh, Laura from Garden Answers for videos and I really like the way that it looks. This is the Shadowland Autumn Frost and it is 12 inches. It is hardy from zones 3 to 9 and so I just really like the contrast of the foliage. I don't have one that looks quite like this. I have some that have white and green but this has a little bit of that blue in it as well and I like that tone. The other ones that I have that have green and white tend to get some slug damage on them so I'm excited to see how this performs for me here. Then also at Lowe's I got some privet um, which I'm excited about. This is the Golden Vickery privet and um, it does have blooms on it. They bloom in the summertime and I saw these, these were 50% off and I've seen these at my local coffee store and whenever I'd walk by them and they were in bloom they smelled so good and I just wondered what are those and I figured out that they were privet and so really wanted some. I got three of them. I have to decide exactly where I want them to go because they do get 10 foot high and 5 feet wide so they make for a really nice hedge. A lot of people grow them very tall and wide. Uh, you'll see people make um, shapes out of them and things similar to boxwood but they get much bigger. So this one um, is something I have to think a little bit about but it also has really pretty colors um, in terms of the way that the leaves turn kind of a deep purple um, for the fall. So it gives a little bit of interest there as well. Super excited about those. Gotta, gotta figure out where I want to put them. And then uh, I got this holly. It's really quite large, but that's because there's actually two hollies in here. And this one was also 50% off. The neat thing about this one is it's called Berry Magic Kids Holly Combination. And the reason why it's called Kids is because the red berries are assured because a male pollinizer is planted in the same container as the fruiting female. So there's actually, again, two plants within the same container. And it says it's going to have an abundance of showy berries. It grows six to eight feet tall and three to six feet wide, blooming in the spring. And it's hardy down to zone five. And again, I am in zone 5B here in Michigan. So it should be just fine and happy. I plan to take this one all the way into my Wayback Garden uh, because it is prickly and I don't have a ton of space up here. I'm hoping it will do well back there because my plans for it really are to use some of the foliage and berries in decorations. So we'll see how that one goes. This one right here is the Checkmark Trilogy by Proven Winners. I do have another one of these um, and so I'm excited to get another one. I think they do look really pretty. I don't have the tag um, for this one here. As you can see it was not on it. Um, but I do have a tag from the other one and it's hardy in my zone. It has why it's called the Trilogy is it has three different kinds of three different colors of blooms on the plant and uh, while it looks a little kind of not so great right now it was 50 percent off and you can tell it's healthy because it has tons of new growth and it's even flowering right here and has buds for new flowers on other branches so that one will look really pretty in the spring all right well that's my plant haul i did also get this um, bird bath and is concrete. I liked the detail on it. I'm going to try to flip it over here for you. Oh, okay. So that's what the top looks like and I think that'll look really nice on the pedestal. 
and I want to replace the one that I have in the back where it doesn't have easy access to water and it's smaller and so because of that it dries out quite a bit and it's it's tough for me to keep up with so yeah that'll look really pretty and then I'll put the little one in a space where I have easier access to it I might actually put it up in this space by the window right there because I can just fill it up with the hose real easy. I have a lot of messes going on right now around the house um, so please ignore those. It's mainly because it's that time of year where cleanup is going on and you have lots of projects all at the same time. So we'll do another short video where I pot up these plants and um, some others to show you where I put all of these plants in my landscape. All right, well, thanks everybody for joining me. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to find out when I launch some new videos. Bye!